uh, I felt bad because whenever something like that happens, I am not at all, oh, those kind of things happen, you know, they're just part of it. No, I, I, I think then I did something wrong as a farmer. So we've had a crazy day. Our cow, Linda, she's sick, she's quite sick. And it was just so crazy because I couldn't get a grip on what was about to happen. Yesterday I thought she would go into labor because she was kind of separating from the herd a little bit. She was standing by herself, not eating, which are the typical signs. Our Highland cattle give birth in May, but we have two that are on a different rhythm, a different schedule because we bought them. They were pregnant, so they gave birth in the summer. Linda gave birth last year, the middle of July. I, I expected her to have her calf the beginning of July or something like that. Her calf from last year, up until a couple weeks ago, was still nursing. We just let the natural cycle happen where the cow can wean the calf whenever she feels ready and they usually do a month to two months before they would give birth again. So her calf from last year was still nursing. So I thought we, we still have a bunch of time. But then yesterday I saw Linda all of a sudden act the way that they often do when they are about to give birth. But then nothing happened. There's no slime, there's nothing. And she hasn't been eating ever since. So for the last 24 hours, nothing seems to happen. Uh, she also looks a little weird on her sides. Her, her stomach has fallen in a little bit. Maybe something's wrong with the calf here. This, this shouldn't be like this. And you know, I, I had seen the typical symptoms, you know, um, the udder was filling up and everything. But there was no slime, there was no labor. She's not eating, there, there's something wrong. So I started to get really concerned. What if the calf is laying wrong? And what if the calf has died? So I'm gonna go in now and check if the calf is still alive. I just cleaned myself up, cleaned my arms. You can see my farmer's tan real nice. I'm not gonna touch anything, but go and feel if the calf is alive. I didn't feel anything. Well, I felt something, but no legs or anything. And then when I checked on her udder, I realized she had a big inflammation there. I know, this hurts, girl. Now this was very confusing to me because the calf from last year wasn't nursing anymore and she hadn't given birth yet but yet she had an inflammation in her udder so I was starting to get really confused and I started to doubt myself I was thinking even if I had missed her giving birth you know what I kept a close eye on her because I knew she was about to calf and I, I, I think she looks so weird, skinny. So I wonder, I wonder if she dropped her calf premature, and it was dead and it's laying somewhere. But I, I, I feel like I would have known that. We've taken her temperature. She has a fever. She has some slime come out, come out of her nose. And remember how I told you yesterday that it looks like she maybe had her calf? Yeah, yeah. But there was no slime or nothing yeah, any yeah. time. Unless it had happened those three and, days. And the calf like... was not... I've never heard her call or anything. Yeah, I've got to call the vet. Because she needs medication right away and I'm go I have to empty her udder here. Mm. So... 
in a moment where I was just kind of freaked out how could I have missed this we just searched the field where they had been on the previous day she had dropped her calf dead somewhere we had noticed and, and she just got an inflammation so now we've got to walk over the pasture and look and see if um, if she had her calf here somewhere and this is one of the few pastures we have where um, like Simi said we don't move them every day here but every three days so we're looking to we couldn't find anything which just confused me a lot I called the vet the vet was on the way so right now the veterinarian is here checking on her she definitely definitely has an inflammation in her other and we'll see now what's going on we took some samples to see what bacteria was growing then she went in like I had done and she she also found hey there it's all closed up there's no calf on the way here so then she went into the intestines to feel and after a while actually she could feel hooves so the vet was just here and there is a calf inside her stall and we think that within the next month she'll give birth she hadn't dropped her calf she was still with calf and that was just a big relief for me because I had been doubting myself if I could have really missed her giving birth and, and, and everything because I'm with the cows daily and checking on them daily but I guess that's one of my weaknesses that I start doubting myself and my decisions and my actions sometimes when things like that happen. I'm just shocked that this actually happened at this time right between the calf stopping to nurse from last year and the other calf on the way especially because I've never heard of a Highland cattle farmer that it's there probably are but I've never heard of a Highland cattle farmer with issues with mastitis with inflammations and the other the the farmers I bought from they have hundreds one of them has hundreds of Highland cattle and he said never uh, I felt bad because whenever something like that happens I am not at all oh those kind of things happen you know they're just part of it no I, I I think then I did something wrong as a farmer either that or it was just super poor genetic material and and, and this cow is just a bad cow for one thing I will not continue breeding with her definitely not but I'm also critically looking at everything I'm doing at all the routines and here's my best explanation to what has happened you guys know that I milk Bella daily. We have had a lot of rain, which we are very thankful for, but those areas have just been swampy and muddy. And I noticed in the mornings when I was milking Bella that a few times she came to me and her udder was covered with mud from her walking through the swampy areas. The feet were a bit muddy and she, she touched her her teats and she touched her udder and I had a lot of cleaning up to do when I wanted to milk her so my theory is that Linda maybe that old calf still nursed some and right after nursing that is when bacteria can enter through the teat into the udder my theory is that she actually walked through that mud got that on her udder and had bacteria go into her udder. That is my theory of what have, has happened because I saw that on Bella. I'm just very glad she still has her calf. I hope she will get better. The bacteria has been very resilient even though I've been working with her. The Milky Way turned into a hospital room right now and she has not had much of an appetite but I think that things will be getting better soon I hope so and I hope that she will still be able to have a healthy calf at least this year
thanks guys I will keep you posted thanks for tuning in and yeah just we'll follow her journey and let you be part of it in the future <laughs>